Once there was a young man who, like you, sat in this very hall. He seemed to all the world a student like any other. His name? Tom Riddle. The prophecy did not refer to a woman. It spoke of a boy born at the end of July. Yes, but he thinks it's her son. He intends to hunt them down now to kill them. For neither can live while the other survives. Hide her. Hide them all. Sir, you won't keep her safe. Did you hear, James? Put their faith in the wrong person, Severus. Mary, be safe. Be strong. <laughs> need to think of a memory. Give me a very happy memory, a very powerful memory. Can you do this? It's not happy, exactly. You're a wizard, Harry. Well, it is. It's the happiest I've ever felt. Welcome to Hogwarts. I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Ron Weasley. Pleasure. Gryffindor! You must be the youngest Quidditch player in a century. The one chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. It's not always clear why, but I think it is clear that we can expect great things from you. Hogwarts is my home. Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go to a bookshop without making a front page. When you're done, just give it a tap. Say, mischief managed. I will have There's a storm coming, Harry. Just like last time. Not all wizards are good. Some of them go bad. A few years ago, there was one wizard that went as bad as you can go. He's been sighted, he's been sighted. Oh. Serious black. I did my waiting! Twelve years of it! In Azkaban! You betrayed my parents. You're the reason they're dead. No, Harry, it wasn't him. Somebody did betray your parents. Who was it then? Peter Pippin. The Dark Lord shall rise again. Do you know what is hidden in the school at this very moment, Mr. Potter? The chamber is said to be home to something that only the heir of Slytherin can control. He's back! Voldemort's back! I couldn't leave him! Fudge is using all his power to smear anyone who claims the Dark Lord has returned. We've got to be able to defend ourselves. And if Ahmed refuses to teach us how, we need someone who will. Think of it this way. Every great wizard in history has started out as nothing more than what we are now. Students. If they can do it, why not us? We're going to make them proud, though. That's a promise. Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? Believe me, Professor, I've been asking myself the same question for six years. We've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. We've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. You're the weak one. And you'll never know love or friendship. I feel sorry for you. Expecto Patronum! You're a fool, Harry Potter. And you will lose everything. These are dark times, there is no denying. Our world has perhaps faced no greater threat than it does today. Rumored there are three. Together, they make one the master of death. It's true what you say, and he has the elder one. You really don't stand a chance. It means one of us is going to have to kill the other in the end. Yes. We need to get into the castle tonight. It's a suicide mission. We have a new weather report. Lightning has struck. I repeat, lightning has struck. It seems, despite your exhaustive defense...
defensive strategies, we still have a bit of a security problem, Headmaster. I'm afraid it's quite extensive. Tell them how it happened that night. Tell them how you looked him in the eye, a man who trusted you and killed him. Pierre Totem Locomotor. Hogwarts is threatened. Man the boundaries, protect us. Do your duty to our school. You've been a good and faithful servant, Severus. But only I can live forever. Find out where he is. If we find him, we can find a snake. And we can end this. You know, at times, I forget how much you've grown. At times, I still see the small boy from the cupboard. I brought you here 16 years ago, when you were no bigger than a bow truckle. Seems only right that I should be the one to take you away now. Once again, I must ask too much of you, Harry. What you are looking at are memories, in this case pertaining to one individual, Voldemort. I'd like you to see it, if you will. Can you only split the song once? For instance, it's seven. Seven? Isn't it bad enough to consider killing one person? To rip the soul into seven pieces? If you could find them all, if you did destroy each Horcrux. One destroys Voldemort. And I think perhaps I may have found another. But this time, I cannot hope to destroy it alone. Dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon, we must all face the choice between what is right what is easy? Well, if I were you-know-who, I'd want you to feel cut off from everyone else. Because if it's just you alone, you're not as much of a threat. I just thought, after all this time, we would have actually achieved something. I thought you knew what you were doing. I thought Dumbledore would have told you something worthwhile. You think I don't know how this feels? No, you don't know how it feels! Your parents are dead! You have no family! The more you care, the more you have to lose. You have allowed your friends to die for you rather than face me yourself. You've kept him alive so that he can die at the proper moment. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for the boy. Lily. <laughs> After all this time, always. I'm ready to die. You'll stay with me until the end. From this day forth, you put your faith in me. It doesn't matter that Harry's gone. Stand down now. People die every day. Friends, family. You didn't die in vain. But you will. Because you're wrong. <laughs> Harry's heart did beat for us. For all of us. It's not over. I'll lure him into the castle. We have to kill the snake. You'll need this!
finish this the way we started it. Together. Well, I'd just like to say that if it hadn't been for you, Harry, and Ron, and Hermione, of course, I would, uh, I'd still be you nowhere. So I, I'd just like to say thanks. There's no Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. What's the love is never really leaves. And you can always find it here. For in dreams, we enter a world that's entirely our own. Is this all real? Or is it just happening inside my head? Of course it's happening inside your head. Why should that mean that it's not real? It's not really goodbye after all.